it's Molly, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about what chlamydia might look like if you are not asymptomatic, because we do know that a lot of people can display um, symptoms, um, but other people do not display symptoms at all, and they carry something that they can still give to others. So if we want to look at our top image on the left, um, this is what a typical female cervix looks like. So this is healthy, this is good, completely fine. But the image directly to the right of it is an infected cervix. Um, as you can see here, it's very infected. There's inflammation. There's aggravation of the tissues. And this is just not good. Something that you don't want to see. So you should see a doctor if you are seeing this. Um, in the bottom left, we see a male infected with chlamydia. On the left, you can see how swollen the testicles are. However, the image directly to the right is another infected penis with um, an abnormal um, discharge coming out of the tip. The image of the chlamydia life cycle at the bottom right is something that I actually just learned about and I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, so this is the timeline after exposure. Um, just so you guys know, EB stands for elementary body and RB stands for reticulate body. These are uh, acronyms I'm going to be using while describing the timeline of chlamydia. Um, so as you can see, in zero to six hours, this is when EB invades. So this is called EB invasion. And then from six to 12 hours, you can see um, inclusion formation and asynchronous EB to RB transition. And then we move on to 12 to 24 hours and you see RB replication and inclusion maturation. And then we move to 24 to 36 hours and we have asynchronous RB to EB transition. And then we move all the way to 48 to 72 hours and this is called EB exit, exit and this is through lysis or extrusion. So a lot of those were big words and things that you don't really need to know right now, but things we also talked about during class, but just know that this happens within 72 hours and this is very quick. Um, and definitely every time that you include yourself to meet with a new partner, you should get tested before you meet with either a new partner or really before meeting with the same partner because you don't want to infect each other, each other and you don't want to get other people sick. Um, but if you are, you know, looking to figure out how to get tested or what that looks like, um, the top two pictures are exactly how one of the, the tests look like. Uh, if you are curious about other testing methods, see my other video um, of testing methods or where you can get tested in Athens. Um, but basically, it's a swab test. And if you are uh, someone that has a penis, um, they insert the swab into the tip of your penis or your anus. Um, and if you're someone that has a vagina, they swab the inside of your cervix. Um, so today, this is what you guys learned about. There's, of course, many different ways that chlamydia can look like, but this is the basics. Um, and again, please remember that you can be asymptomatic. So just because you aren't displaying things doesn't mean that you don't have things. Thank you.